Hey Cashers, Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we're gonna start a brand new series on a gadget cash build that we're gonna go from concept all the way through completion. Let's get started. So two Christmases ago, my in-laws gave me a puzzle and I thought it was really cool. And it is a really simple puzzle that uses centrifugal force to do this. Now I'm going to show you how it opens and show you some inside parts of it, kind of how I thought this was really neat and trying to figure out how I can make this into a cache. So what you have to do is actually spin it and when you spin it enough or a certain direction, sometimes you have to flip it over, but it, when it comes across, it actually will come apart. Now what's really cool is that when it came apart, as you can see here in this right here, there, you don't see the pins, but if you rotate it anywhere, you actually see the pins that actually lock it into place. So my thought was, how could I use centrifugal force to create a cache locking mechanism? I've been thinking about this for a while. And about a month or so ago, I was scrolling through Facebook and seeing different, uh, on one of the pages I was on, and it was on gadgets, and I actually saw a really simple birdhouse cache that you actually spun upside down and it unlocked. And I was like, you know, that's a really great concept. Let's see how we can build that. And that's where this whole concept of this type of bird cache, cache came from. So let's get this drawn out and then we'll do a template in cardboard, kind of get a rough size of how everything's gonna be. So now I have the drawing of the designs of how things are gonna kinda of lay out in this birdhouse and some of the elements of it. Now I'm gonna go and actually flip moving. I've got quite a bit of extra boxes from packing and everything. So I'm gonna go and put this together as a rough, so I'm gonna kinda of get a size of how this is gonna be. Plus it also gives me the templates for when I actually get to actually cutting the wood to actually put together. So let's get that those put together and then we're gonna talk more about this design. We got the mock-up done now it's kind of so we get a really good perspective of the size of how big this gadget cache is going to be and we have the door how it's going to open up because it's going to make it really easy with having a two inch bottom and a two inch top and the door just kind of opens so we're not having to use a router or trying to figure out the cuts and trying to get nice and clean this will make it a lot cleaner this way now next week we're going to go over how to create what i'm going to call the gravity lock and that's where we're gonna put um, the blocks inside and nails, and so it'll actually, when you turn it upside down, it will actually unlock the actual mechanism, and when it's turned back around, gravity will cause it to lock back. So, but thank you for joining me today on Behind the Cash. If you like this or have any comments, leave those down below. I would really love to hear from you, because I mean, this is my design. Maybe you already have a design of your own, and we can share that together, and we can talk about that. So, but next week, going to be creating the gravity lock that's going to go on this and actually using the actual wood and get it all together. So I look forward to seeing you next week. But hey, don't go anywhere. Check out some of these other videos just right over here and find out the story behind the cache.